Being in your 20s is hard enough with the big family dinner coming up for the holidays, and some singles start bracing for questions about their love life. So today, relief for 20-somethings and a better strategy for moms and grandmas tempted to quiz them. We're sharing expert advice on dating in your 20s. Dating coach Michelle Barnum-Smith is here with advice for singles and their well-intentioned parents and grandparents or siblings or whoever it might be. Or dating coach, your aunt at the, at the dinner table this month. Everybody always thinks they know more than you, right, when it comes to dating? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> so tell us, this can be kind of a tricky thing for 20-somethings that are maybe bringing somebody home or not bringing somebody, not somebody home. home. Yeah. So you have some tips for this this person, kind of what they can do to, to brace themselves. Yeah, well, so when you're dating in your 20s, it's very different than any other stage in your life. It's different than your teenage years, and it's different than later on in life. And I think a lot of parents, and even grandparents, are a little unsure about, well, should I even be hoping that they're dating, or should I, should I have them you know, focused on their schoolwork? I know I've talked to tons of parents who are worried that their kids are dating too much, and maybe they should just be focused on their schoolwork. You know, so it's, there's a big question of what what is the purpose of dating in your 20s? And it's changed, don't totally. you think? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you have some tips to kind of put the focus on, on love, and the first one is develop yourself. Yeah, so, so this stage of dating in your 20s, it's, it's your first foray, usually out of the home, you're learning about yourself, and one of the, one of the key aspects of dating is, is understanding yourself is knowing what you have to offer. And that and quite frankly this is a time in your life of extreme change. You're developing, you know, new interests, new hobbies, hopefully a career path. And so there's there's a lot going on that you need to identify in uh, in developing yourself and, and becoming clear on what you have to offer personally. So focus in, decide who you yeah. are and what your interests are before you start looking elsewhere and trying to find something. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, the next thing, is there kind of more of a process to dating than just asking somebody out? <laughs> yes, absolutely. And, and this is a lot that I focus on because I, I, I apply business practices to the personal life. And uh, one of the first things that you have to do is really identify what it is that you're looking for. And usually, like when you're young, there's not, you don't have a huge long list of things that you like and that you don't like. But this is your opportunity to start to identify those things. And I tell people, I'm like, you know, it all starts with that, you know, that identification of, well, am I attracted to them? Am I interested in them? You know, and not necessarily having this huge long list. Just, just go with somebody who's attractive to you first. And then it does take a little effort. Prince Charming isn't just going to come knock at your door. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, Dang absolutely. It. So I call that, a lot of people get sucked into the three W's of dating. Wishing, wondering, and waiting. Oh, I wish that he would pay attention to me. Oh, I wonder if she's interested. Or just waiting in general. Waiting for it to happen naturally. Wait, waiting for, um, you know, the right time kind of a thing. And I, what I, ch I challenge people in thinking, you know, are you waiting for good grades? Are you waiting for, you know, to lose weight? Are you waiting for that dream job? Like if you really want something, you got to work for it. You got to go after it. And instead of waiting for something and wishing and wondering if it's going to happen, you need to actually work at dating in your 20s. And what are some ways that that they can do that. So a quick tip that I have for people, and especially as it relates to this age group, is that you need to get to real life fast. Too many people spend way too long on texting, messaging, you know, they're interacting with that person online, but from personal experience, let me tell you, it can get really different when you're actually face to face. And a relationship that, that works towards a marriage isn't based, I'm sorry, but me and my husband don't text each other all day long. Right. You know, we have to interact in person. And if you, can, if you don't practice developing those relationship skills, you're going to fail over and over and over again. So get to real life fast. Don't spend all of your time online and messaging people. Lose the texting, lose the social media stalking, get real, get yep. up close get and real. personal yep. with people. <laughs> and is that something, what can the loved ones do? I mean, they're sometimes watching from the sidelines. Do you have any tips for them? Yeah, um, I, especially when it comes to parents who are worried, oh my goodness, they're not dating at all, or oh my goodness, they're dating too much. I think the reality is, is that you need, to, you need to understand that relationship skills are like muscles. You gotta practice them to get good at them. And, uh, and so just allow your child to work out those, those social muscles. And are we, are, are, 
Should they bring stuff up? Should they ask questions? Should they not ask questions? It's I mean, I, like, trying to hold yourself back from not asking questions, <laughs> they're going to sense <laughs> that you're... But I think the biggest thing is just to be supportive. If you see them going off on some crazy direction, I mean, you're the parent. you got to, you know, take action. But I think for the most part, this is... this is Your children are adults now. They get to make decisions for themselves. So you got to let them go and have experiences and make mistakes that'll help guide them in their path along the way. And sometimes that's the hardest part. It is. It's true. Okay, well, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> and where can we find you? Marketingtomarriage.com. Okay, mixing the business with the dating advice. It's true. All right. True. Thanks, Michelle. We Thank appreciate you. it.